Hi everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on the how to make an caching system series. So before I start this tutorial, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me or want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in the $10 tier. Uh, with that being said, let's start. So what I'm going to start with is making a delete button which will be the thing we're going to be scripting in this video and it might also be the last uh, tutorial on this uh, series so what i'm going to do is add a uh, duplicate the unequip all button make it put it right here and or maybe let's put it somewhere around here okay i'm going to resize this put it right here and put this right here and change the text to delete now i'm just going to put this here and change the text to delete and um this looks horrible but i'm gonna have to mess around with it but not right now so what i'm going to do is rename this to delete and what i'm going to do is enter the inventory client and have a local um delete is equal to mainframe dot delete now what i'm going to do is scroll all the way down or actually all the way up and delete dot mouse button one click on connect function if selected temp is not equal to nil then what I'm going to do is fire a remote event. So, uh, local, so, uh, remote. I think we're going to do remote. Let me check. So, we have a folder inside of fabricated storage. And it's named to remote. So, game dot replicated storage dot remote dot uh, delete. So, add a remote event. Rename it to delete. and dot delete com fire server now we're gonna send the path that's currently selected so select the temp dot name and what i'm going to do is enter the egg underscore server script and scroll all the way down and replicated storage dot remote dot delete the uh, con the on server event con connect function and that will take the player as the first argument and the pet name as the second argument so if player or local pets is equal to player conf dot pets con find first child pet name so if pet is not equal to nil so if it's if it's available then what we're gonna do is delete it so uh pet on destroy after doing that go back here and select the temp con destroy and selected pet Select uh, temp is equal to nil. After doing that, what I'm going to do is try to check if it's equipped. So if a player, if workspace dot player pets. Okay, copy this. Uh, paste it here. I'm gonna find first child pet name instead of uh, pet dot name. Then what 
what I'm going to do is uh, do colon find first child player dot name colon find first child pet name then copy this paste it here and add a colon destroy after doing that we're gonna have to reset every single equipped button so go back here to the unequip all script and as you can see we have set the multiplier so copy this paste it here and go back here and inside of this we will basically copy every single one of these so copy this And paste it right here and we're gonna change some stuff so i'm going to add a new statement so if workspace dot player pets on find first child player um plr dot name uh come on, get children is greater than or is equal equal to zero then after doing that, add a hashtag in here that will return a table. Then we will do all of this. So we will basically unequip all. Now I'm going to play the game and see if this works. So I'm just going to equip this pet and then delete it. So it's deleted and it's not in my inventory anymore. But we do have an error, so attempt index nil C frame. Hmm. Okay. So go back here. Uh and go to the underscore g dot create template. And what I'm going to do is check if. Okay, this is a bit complicated. If cloned, then. If cloned is not equal to nil, then. We're going to do that. And that's, that's it. Now I'm going to play the game. Delete a pet, equip it first, then delete it, and it still says the same thing. Attempt index node C frame. Now, when this happens, what I usually do is just add a P coin there. Local success, comma, error is equal to P call function. And copy this control x paste it here now i'm going to check if success if uh, error then um stop so to stop this uh here we're gonna create a a connection so local connection and in here, we're going to change connection to this. After doing that, I'm going to do connection on disconnect. That should work. Now I'm going to play the game again. Do the same thing. Select the pet. Equip it. And delete it. And again, error. Nope. No error this time. But we do have that and it works so we also forgot to uh disable the viewport frame but i don't think that's necessary right now so i think this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i will see you all in the next video bye